Let's see the screen configuration. First, the left screen showing the code is for developers. They can choose both public and private features for their dApps. The second screen is the dApp user interface. And the last screen is for checking the speed and cost. Now let's take a look at the first example, collectibles. Several tokens will be created on the Ethereum public blockchain for comparison. This is the average speed when running the actual dApp over the Ethereum protocol. It takes a long time, doesn't it? Now, let's make a second token. Let's find the two tokens that we've made and combine them to create a new one. We will now store the newly created token in the archive. Let's look at the cost of the dApp in the public blockchain. It's 746,000 GUI. Let's remember that. Now let's run our collectible on the Bifrost platform that uses both a public and a private blockchain. We will go through the same process so you can see the difference. Do you notice the difference in the speed in the process of making and combining the two tokens? It takes time to save the new combined token to the archive. This is because the public blockchain is used to ensure the safety of the process. Let's look at the cost. Only 113,000 GUI is used. We've saved about 75% of the cost, and you can notice the difference in speed. Now, let's take a look at our second example, a blog. First, let's see how it works on the Ethereum public blockchain. There will be a couple articles being written. And then the like button will be clicked. and the reward will be claimed. This time, let's speed it up a little bit on Bifrost. As you've seen with the collectible, we can use a public blockchain to post articles and claim rewards, and a private blockchain for transactions using the like button. But here, we're gonna choose the best side for speed. After adjusting for speed, the same process will be executed as before. Can you feel the difference? Let's take a speed measurement this time. We will assume 10,000 people press likes at the same time. Ten thousand likes are now being clicked, and the TPS was about three thousand five hundred and thirty-two. 
Now that you've watched the abbreviated version of our tech demo, feel free to contact us to check out our full version.